Hi guys, Cheese at Cowan here, CEO of Real Estate. Excited to talk to you about how to get unstuck in your business. I like to talk about this because I recently did a video on how to um, get avoid burnout in your business. And I think people mix up burnout with being stuck. I want to make sure before I get into what I'm going to get into that I clearly delineate that burnout is when you are doing too much of the wrong things or too much of the right things at the wrong time. Being stuck is not the same as burnout. Being stuck is you don't know what to focus on. So you're literally doing anything and you're not moving the business forward. Even though you got a lot of action and traction, you're not moving the business forward because sometimes you may be focusing on the right thing or the wrong things. Sometimes you may be doing the right things, but at the wrong times. Sometimes you may be doing the right things, but doing them ineffectively. This is where coaching, training, and consulting comes in. A lot of people think coaches just want to take your money. This is what I, I always tell people. I'm always going to have what I need. God always provides for me. People are always going to be attracted to me, want to do business with me because I have developed a skill set that can help people move past burnout, help them get unstuck. So I'm always going to have business. I'm not chasing any business. However, when you are in a place of being stuck, you are in a spot of insanity where you're doing the same things every day, getting up. And sometimes you may be even doing new things the same way. So it's still insanity, but you're never going to get to better until you first get to different. And sometimes when we are in a space, we are in an industry, in a place of movement, we're unable to see the things that people that are looking from the outside in, especially somebody like me that has years of business experience, years of industry experience in real estate that I can look at and tell you in five minutes. One of the reasons that my coaching program focuses on profit first is because if you are always focused on profit, you're never going to be stuck in the money category. Do I get stuck in business? Absolutely. That's why I have a coach. I have somebody helping me grow my business, helping me. I have a marketing director that helps me grow my business. I have admins and things that help me grow my business. Why? Because I need to always be figuring out what I need to be focused on. And as things change, my focus changes, right? As the industry changes, you have to understand that your focus is going to shift. A lot of times we get unstuck because the industry or what we're doing or has pivoted and we miss that mark. We miss that call, right? So when we talk about making the pivot, making the shift, that's what being unstuck is. It is understanding that I am in a place where I am getting the same results constantly and I want to go up a level. Stuck just means you're at a level that you can't get past. And usually for agents, that's that six figure mark. They, they press real hard to get to that six figure mark. And then they think about like, oh God, I'm making, I started with making a hundred. Now I'm making 200, but I don't know how to get out of that cycle. Here's the thing. The same thinking that got you to 600 to six figures or a hundred thousand mark is not the same thinking that's going to take you to the seven figure mark because you're not going to be able to work your way into millionaire status as a real estate agent. You're going to have to strategize your way there. Here's what you have to understand about strategy. Strategy, there's a book called The Art of War by Sun Tzu. Great book on strategy, hard read. I would recommend listening to it on Audible. However, what that book talks about is how to be strategic. When you are being strategic, you need insight. In biblical days, the kings did the, the priests, the kings didn't go to war without the advisement of the priests. The priests were coaching and consulting them on how to win the war. This is our business. You are in warfare for your business, believe it or not. Don't let anybody tell you different. And here's the thing in warfare, the Bible says there's safety in a multitude of counselors. So when I created the strategy session, it wasn't just because, oh my God, I need to make money. If I want to do that, I could go build lead structure systems and go sell real estate that can get me to money. I want to help people get unstuck. I want to be able to take a look at your business and see where are the blind spots? Where are the holes? Where's money going that it doesn't need to be going? Where's effort, energy, time, and consistency going that it should be going somewhere else to be more profitable? So when I get an example that I give is you're focusing on hand-to-hand -hand lead generation, which is good. It's going to move your business forward. But I'm going to teach you how to build systems so you can get more than one lead at once. And that's going to drive the profitability of your business, but it's also going to help you get unstuck and over a lead generation hurdle. This is why 
people that are in coaching, training, consulting, et cetera, they go farther, faster. It's because you're taking the expertise of the person that is coaching, training, or consulting you, and you're using that expertise to fuel a different event, a different effect in your business. And that's what's really important about understanding how to get unstuck. You don't just get unstuck because you do more. Please hear me on that. Doing more does not automatically equate to making more, being more, doing better. And I, I put this quote down. I wanted to, to, to say this. I said that a lot of times people say that I'm doing everything I know to do. I hate that. Just because you're doing everything that, that you know to do doesn't mean you're doing everything. Maybe you don't know enough. Maybe what you know to do is not enough. Maybe you have to first increase your learning because as you learn more and then you say, I'm doing everything that I know to do, you're going to do more because you know more. It sometimes is a matter of we have to increase our lid every day. This is why you get into coaching relationships and consulting relationships and training relationships so that those people can push you to spaces and places that you wouldn't ordinarily go on your own. I had a coaching call today and I she was telling me that she often does things that are outside of her calendar. I said, why? She said, well, I don't know. I said, okay, here's what I need you to do. The reason that you're not sticking to your business boundaries is, is it's emotional. When it happens, you have to write down what that thing that took you out of your pocket or out of your time restraint, what triggered that? Because I can't just tell you to do better without giving you the resources and tools that you need to do better. And that's what's happening with a lot of our agents. We're picking up stuff from YouTube. We're piecemealing this person's content with this person's content instead of giving getting in a focus program that will give us the focus that we need to take us to the next level. So when I created the strategy session, it was for people that, okay, you don't want to be involved in a long-term coaching program like our Blueprint program. But you want to be able to look at your business systems and know where to focus on effectively so that you can get the results, you can get the profit, you can get whatever it is you need to move your business forward so that you can be very intentional about that. And that's what I want to do. That's what the summer strategy sessions are for. Um, there's a link in the bio if you want one, if you want to sign up for one, but here's what I want you to understand. You're going to get out of that session. I'm going to take a deep dive into your business. We're going to open up your books. We're going to look at your lead generation, um, levers. We're going to look at how you're spending your time. We're going to look at your calendar. We're going to look at your resources. We're going to look at how you live in your life, how you sleep it. If you were married, how you dating your spouse, if you got kids, how you showing up for your kids, how you time block and set aside time for yourself. We're going to get into it. And then we're going to leave with a plan on how to make the areas that are important to you in your business, in your life better. So I want you to just really think about, are you stuck in your business? You know, if you're stuck, your paycheck will tell you if you're stuck. Your bank account will tell you if you're stuck. You know, if you're stuck, but here's the thing. How do you get to the next level? If you knew how to get to the next level, you wouldn't be stuck. And that's the thing. Here's what I want to leave you with. I used to always wonder because I'm very driven. I'm like, I can do this. I don't need help. But here's what God wants from us. Community. He wants us to be interdependent on one another. The, 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 there's a song that used to say, um, you pray for me. I pray for you. I love you. I need you to survive. Right. Because all parts work together. I can't say to my hand, my arm can't say to my hand, I don't need you. It does need my hand. The arm can go here, there and everywhere, but the hand is what could pick up a pencil. So I want you to understand that when we talk about coaching and consulting the, and getting you unstuck, you do need people for that. And guess what? You may have people in your circle that can help you, but are they skilled at helping people move forward? Because there's one thing to give good advice. There's another thing to give advice that moves people forward. And that's what the strategy session is designed for. So I appreciate you tuning into this video. And I want you, if you're interested to book a strategy session, but more than that, join our email list. Thank you for tuning into this video. I hope you hear my heart when I talk about getting unstuck. That is super important to me because a lot of agents are stuck. They're stuck in what happens with the NAR real estate lawsuit in my business. They're stuck in how do I get past the six figure mark? They're stuck in how do I get past having only one transaction a month? You're stuck because the solutions that you need are in likely somebody else's mouth. So it's important that you partner with people that are gonna help you be able to move your business forward, understanding that in order to get to better, you have to first get to different. And we have a whole bunch of resources to help you. The links are gonna be in the bio. You can book whatever you need, but we have a lot of free resources as well. So just stay connected. And thank you for subscribing to this channel. 
if this if you find value in this video or you know somebody else that's stuck send this to them because sometimes it just takes for somebody to make sense of what's going on in your head and then you can feel the, the the emotional energy that you need to move forward in your business and i hope you got that out of this video thank you for tuning in my name is cheese at cowan and i am the ceo of real estate uh -huh.